Hey, it's Steve from NerdKO.com. I'm here to do an unboxing of, a, of an unprecedented video game controller that is made by Fanatec called the Speedster. It's uh, a pretty unique looking controller. It's also uh, huge and some of you would probably think I'm not going to hold that thing. But I am. So here we go. Let's take a look at it. Got a uh, PlayStation to 2 to PlayStation 3 adapter that comes with it. it looks like the uh, outer packaging is separated and we've got ourselves regular store packaging. Inside we have uh, the Speedster connector for the PlayStation 2 which would fit into this and then connect to the PlayStation 3. It is wireless. And uh, the controller front has, if you can see that, kind of a, uh, it's not really 3D, but it just goes back and forth showing the different angles you hold the controller to do the steering, since it is a steering uh, racing controller for racing games. And it uh, has a locking mechanism, which allows it, when locked, to not move at all. And if you're playing a game like, let's say, Grand Theft Auto, and you're running your character around, you probably don't want it moving like a steering wheel. So you put it in lock position and you don't have to worry about your character going crazy every time you turn the, the wheel a certain direction. But anyways, then you can get back in your vehicle and put, unlock it and then it's back into wheel mode. This controller reminds me a little bit of an old PlayStation 1 controller called the Nijikon, made by Namco was pretty popular back in the mid 90s that was a twisting controller in a way this is going to be sort of a twister and hopefully uh, will be as effective as that controller was it was uh, definitely one of my favorites for the PlayStation uh, 1 game system unfortunately the Nijikon no longer is supported by PlayStation alright there's their locking mechanism and that is steering this is steering to your car to the right, that's steering your car to the left, and then you can click that locking mechanism up, and then you can run your guy around in the video game. Um, it does have a unique digital readout that will allow for calibration of the dead zone in your video game, uh, the uh, dead spot. It's also got a tuning button which allows for all sorts of unique, uh, unique features that the uh, controller offers nice d-pad it is unique it's definitely unique I'm not sure what these buttons are for but I'm gonna figure that one out later yeah that's my cat his name's Leo alright so on this side on the back side we've got the R1 L1 R2 L2 and then we even have these trigger buttons which I'm figuring would also coincide with R2 and L2 and they're analog and then the battery compartment is right here I'm not sure I'm gonna have to figure that one out probably uh, don't want to break it on video here right now but I'll figure it out how to open it it takes I believe two uh, AA batteries if I'm not mistaken don't quote me on that I gotta figure it out I'll probably be, be back with uh, a little bit more gameplay uh, with the controller to give you an idea of what that's all about and how well it's uh, how well it's working in games that are dedicated racing games it looks to me like it's got kind of a nice feel to it good um, uh, kind of a good feel of resistance with each way you turn it. So it, it should be a, it should be an interesting controller to try out. All right, I'll talk to you later. So yeah, we're going to try Pro Race Driver, a classic game from the mid, uh, actually probably around 2003 or so. Here we go. if I can get around him.
I'm having fun. Sort of was having fun. So I had a really great chance to try out the controller. I've uh, not only tried it with Pro Race Driver on the PlayStation 2, but some PlayStation 3 games, including Need for Speed Shift 2 and Gran Turismo 5. Gran Turismo 5, it's, it's a dream to, to race with. Need for Speed Shift 2, hmm, it's a little challenging, and ultimately I don't think that game is all that great when it comes to using wheel peripherals. But I don't know, with DualShock 2 it seems fine. And I'm also going to plan on trying it out with Dirt 3, and I'll include that in my re review at uh, nerdco.com, which should be posting in the next upcoming week. So anyways, uh, yeah, it's a great controller. It's got uh, great handling, the racing games, and it's definitely a good rumbler. It has a, a nice vibration effect. So ultimately, you know, I definitely recommend the controller. I would say once you read my review, you may be interested in getting it yourself. All right. Until next time, take care.